All right, shit, girl, Nina B. We still live, streets of NY, you know. But I got a little flavor from the South. Is that the South, St. Louis? Uh, Simmons? It's, it's, the Midwest? It's more like... I don't know my atlas. It's like, it's so you got, Saint, you got to forgive Nina B. The portion of St. Louis I'm from is yeah. like U City. That's like the Nelly territory uh -huh. all up in there. It's like a suburb of uh -huh. St. Louis. Is it the South? Midwest. It's the Midwest. Shout out to the Midwest. I toured the Midwest before. It was a great time I had, too. Tell me about it. So, you're from the Midwest. You go by the name of Bishop. You got it on the shirt. You got it on the whip. I mean, it is what it is. But let us know what the, the letters mean to you. It stands for Best Individual Style Only Happens Through Potential. And basically, that's like the acronym for it. And I go, I go by Bishop the Overseer. And it is what it is. We, 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 we oversee the rap game, make sure everything is copacetic, so on and so is forth. Is copacetic? Nah, it's not copacetic. So what do we need to be changed right now? What we need we, to be doing? We, 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 need, we need more people that's talking about something. We need more Talibs. We need more Most Defs. Mm -hmm. We need more Nas's, Kanye's. And you need more B.I.'s like me. More content? Yeah. All right, I'll definitely need, need, need some substance. So is that really the, the the angle you coming in? You feel like you relate more to these artists? But yeah, because it's it's like it's not like a one-sided situation where you know I'm talking about one thing in particular. Yeah, one. It's well it's well-rounded because I feel I'm well-rounded and grounded in life. So I talk about a wide variety of different things, everything from social to political issues definitely. to just. Hood stuff, you know. So that actually affects us, and that's what it <laughs> yeah. is. So, how long you been spending? I've been writing since '96, since I was uh, 15, right. and I laid down my first track in '96. What's Get, the last track you laid down? You said what's the la last mm -hmm. track I laid down? Last track I recorded, um, probably. Like I, I'm recording like a full album called "Worth More," "Worth More Dead Than Alive." So I guess really the last track was this track, the Bishop track, because this, this is this because this is going to be on Worth More Dead Than Alive. Uh, is that the record you're going to be pushing to? Worth More Dead Than Alive is an album that I'm putting out in 2010, and we're prepping to do a double album release, a Money Spot Part One. That, that's going to be a double disc set in separate, you know, selections, but one is going to have a DVD with it. We're trying to do that Black Friday this year. I like that. I like the whole movement. So you think having like you're having your st your stuff packaged right. You got the t-shirts. You got the whip. People respect your game more. I think people respect it more from a corporate perspective because we're not just uh, a person saying we're doing it. We are doing it. You know what I'm saying? We have our own budgets. Mm -hmm. We have our own capital. We don't rely on anyone for anything of that nature. Like we're, we're not sponsored by like a, a major, like a Def Jam or yeah, something. Independent. But we come through like we're Def Jam. I feel you. You well, understand? They, and that's what it is. I think they do respect it more. Honestly. Yeah. That's why I asked you that. And we even got a special treat. I know my girl Killer Karen in the, interviewed you in the past out there at the Millennium Music Conference with getting your grind on. When you get your grind on, it comes back full service. So we're going to jump right into that. Okay. But before we get there, you got any shout outs you want to make? Shout out to my mother, my brother, and my fiance that's chilling in the whip. Killer, killer Cambria. Hey. <laughs> and um, one thing I need to ask: the website. It's Bishop Enterprises with the nest on the end. 99.com. B i s h o p. You see it, dog? It's right there. Yeah, right? it's b i s h o p e n t e r p r i s e s 99.com. And even if you don't remember the website, if you remember like keywords like Bishop, Bishop the Overseer, Bishop Enterprises, whatever, you know, you can just key it in on Google. You'll find us. We, we all Google over. The man, he's doing his thing. Yahoo I mean, it, whatever you want to do. The proof is in the pudding. We're going to take y'all back a little bit. Shout out to my girl, Killer Karen. This is a flashback. Bishop, go. Let's go to Video City. We're back. It's your girl, Killer Karen. I'm here with my man, Bishop. How you doing? What's going on, Bishop? Where are you from? From uh, originally from St. Louis, Missouri, but we in uh, North, based out of North New Jersey. So what are you doing all the way up here? Well, basically I'm attending the Millennium Music Conference. We out here representing my company, Bishop Enterprises LLC, doing it, you know, doing it and doing it well. Definitely, that's what's up. That was a great performance that you did over there. Thank you. I'm glad that you liked it. So what um what do you think makes you different from the other rappers that are out? Originality, diversity, and consistency. Okay, that's what's up. That's definitely important. Now, you have an album that you're working on, or? Well, basically, we're promoting a commitment to a positive change national ad campaign. 
That's nothing but um, an ad campaign that we lit. Uh, unreleased singles for up and coming albums on the Bishop Enterprises and we're promoting up on an album called Worth More Dead Than Alive that I'm trying to publish uh, for summer 2008. Okay, that's what's up. Is there any place where somebody can hear your music? Like a MySpace page maybe? Something around? We got the MySpace page. It's that slash Bishop Enterprises. That's B-I-S-H-O-P-E-N-T-E-R-P-R-I-S-E-S 99. Or you can go directly to our corporate website at bishopenterprises99.com. If you look up Bishop the Overseer on Google, Yahoo, MSN on the search engines, you'll find it anyway. You know it's good when you can Google it, right? <laughs> All right, thanks, Bishop. All right, thank you. All right. All right, we live. We in the streets. This is your girl Nina B. Still holding it down, Video City style. Video City styling on them. You see me? Of course. I got my boy. This is my boy. His name is Rome Nyla. That's Rome, R-O-M-E, like the place. You know, when in Rome, you do as the Romans and all that. And then we have the Nyla and Y in L.A. So tell us about the name. Rome Nyla. Well, you know, Romy Rome is a nickname. You know, so they just call me Rome, but the NYLA. Um, I used to travel a lot, New York, L.A. doing the modeling scene. You could always hit me up on the MySpaces, uh, hit me up on those Facebooks. Um, yeah, you definitely you could always hit me up on the Music Industry Online. Like, all y'all should know, it's Hello. Rome at musicindustryonline.info. I'm always there, but, you know, like, I'm, I'm accessible. MySpace is uh, Rome, no, what is it, MySpace.com backslash Rome Nyla. I don't like doing that whole MySpace promotion thing, but unfortunately, it's just... It's just what is my space. It's my space. So, you know, come to my space. It's my space. Rome Nyla. Facebook, just look up Rome Nyla. Everything is look up Rome Nyla. Rome Nyla. Rome Nyla. Rome Nyla. How long you been into modeling? I've been doing it for four five years. About four or five years. Um, you're bigger than just modeling. Yeah, um, you know what? I I really call myself uh, the national commercial model for a reason. Um, I call myself the national corporate model. Um, I'm very, <laughs> I'm into the corporate world like crazy, um, you know, um, you can see me in the corporate uh, world uh, doing music industry online, working for Hot 97 Street Soldiers. I own a uh, marketing company, my own record label, I own Empire Records LLC. <laughs> I own that's the Empire Records yes. LLC. Yes, that's no, me. Disrespectful Chuck over there. <laughs> I own the Imperial Committee. Um, we do marketing. Um, that's who actually Tone contacted. You know, that's my company. They contacted to work with MIO, work with Hot 97 Street Soldiers. So and like, it goes full circle. You know, I just keep it, uh, keep it on down low. But like, uh, let it be known it, it's here, it's here, man. Like, like we here. And I've been told you. I told you guys th about this about a year ago mm -hmm. on Video City about Imperial Committee. Uh, Empire Records, M.I.O., Not So Crazy, Nina B., Kilo, Amber Raffinell, hey, yo, like, yo, this is it, yo, like, I don't know what else to tell y'all, yo, I'm here, I know what you can I'm here, what's up? Tell us yo. who your friends are, give us some shout outs. Yo, um, I'd like to shout out to Not So Crazy, um, of course, Nina B., of course, Ravenel, uh, my boy Tone Capone, Kilo, Joseph Segarra, Adonis Star. I still see you. Trust me, brother. Trust me, man. Um, oh, <laughs> Richie Rose, um, Video City, um, Video City, and Video City. Um, and my damn self, I give a shout out to myself, Rome Nyla, as always. Keep doing Keep what you do, yo. We want yeah, sure only the best for you, okay? Yo, um, so you know, I just, this you is my first. Anytime, this is my first sit down, you know, like I, you know, you make it. I'm, I'm taking his virginity. Yo, um, this is his first time. I'm sitting here with Nina B. I'm a little bit nervous. Like I don't, I, I, I don't know, yo. <laughs> Whatever, man. Yeah, we about to go back upstairs and drink some Red Bull, you know, stuff like that. But in the meantime, I gotta take it over to my girl Jen. See what Jen is doing. Let's go. <laughs> Peace.